Welcome, everyone, to this beautiful ceremony for Mariah and Camilo. Your presence and support here is very important, as is your presence and support in their lives. Mariah and Camilo set an intention to declare their commitment to one another in front of their community of friends and family. And towards the end, I will ask you all to join me in pronouncing them married. But before we start, the two of you take a breath and look at all of the beautiful people who have come to support you. Look around you, loving faces supporting you. They are here today to share this moment in time and by their presence are declaring that they wanna to continue to add their love and support to you as you leave this beautiful place, creating a new intention for a life together. Your family, your friends have all come from great distances to be here, from Panama, from Miami, from Texas, from New York City, and just down the road. We have friends from childhood and high school, college and work, old friends and new friends. We have children and siblings and cousins, nieces and nephews, aunts, uncles, and parents. And thank you all for being here. And Mariah and Camilo are grateful for everyone's support love and encouragement. And there are also, of course, those who are not able to be here. They've left um, beautiful remembrances on the chairs of those who are not able to be here. There are also those who were not able to make the trip up to Lake George, but who would like to be here. And of course, we have to remember Chester, um, who we wish and hold in good health and pray for a recovery for him. Um, people who are with us today in spirit, and remain in our hearts as we celebrate the coming together of Mariah and Camilo. So marriage is about a deep and abiding love that will conquer all. And the best expression of this, of course, comes from a famous Colombian, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, who wrote Love in the Time of Cholera. Jesus. It's a book about a man who waits for 51 years, nine months, and four days for his beloved, and shows that, real, that love really can heal civil war, a plague, and a broken heart. He writes not just of a deep and abiding love, but of the importance of getting to the other shore. Together, they had overcome many trials and fabulous flashes of glory in the conjugal conspiracy. It was time when they both loved each other best, without hurry or excess, when both were most conscious of and grateful for their incredible victories over adversity. Life would still present them with other moral trials, of course, but that no longer mattered. They were on the other shore. This wedding is a celebration of the depth of love that Mariah and Camilo have, how they have learned to love each other best. It is also about their journey of getting to, over and over and over again, that other shore. Marriage is also about strength, both individually and together. And upstate New York writers have some wisdom too. Herman Melville reminds us that real strength reminds us real strength never impairs beauty or harmony, but it often bestows it. And in everything imposingly beautiful, strength has much to do with the magic. The strength of each of them as individuals will only bestow beauty and harmony for their marriage and their strength, indeed, has so much to do with their magic. And marriage, of course, requires risk and courage. Madeline Lengel, a writer from New York City, says of marriage that to marry is the biggest risk in human relations that a person can take. If we commit ourselves to one person for life, this is not, as many people think, a rejection of freedom. Rather, it demands the courage to move into all the risks of freedom and the risk of love which is permanent into that love which is not possession but participation. It takes a lifetime to learn another person. When love is not possession but participation, then it is part of that co-creation which is our human calling. And of course, both Mariah and Camilo are fierce and daring and not ones to shy away from risk. What they are doing today is the ultimate declaration in courage. We are here as my husband says, to evolve on this earth. That is what we are here to do. And in our evolution, our job is to love one another more, 
to live our life in such a way that our circle of whom we love and how we love grows. And this is the way that Mariah and Camilo have shown all of us how to expand our love and include everyone always. Many of you are families they were born into, but all of you are families that they chose. So I ask all of you to join in Mariah and Camilo's conjugal conspiracy. Through this ceremony, we pledge to help them get to that other shore, to keep them strong, to nourish their commitment, and remind them that the risk they are taking is really the only one that there is ever worth taking. You have already said your vows to one another, but know that these are vows that you have already said that you will live into, that you bring into being every day. Reflect upon them regularly when you get stuck. The secret to a happy marriage, I would offer, is to continue to choose one another in big ways and small. Each day, choose one another, choose your commitment. You choose, you risk, and most importantly, say yes to one another as often as you can. In, again, big ways and small ways, say yes. If you catch yourself saying no, regroup and say yes again. And know that when you love someone, you do not love them all the time in exactly the same way. We forget the ebb and flow of life and of love and of relationships. We insist on permanence, on duration, on continuity, but in love as in life, the only stability is in change, in evolution, and in freedom. Therefore, what you promise today must be renewed and reaffirmed for all the tomorrows to come. The rings. Put on first. So your rings are both an outward symbol telling the world that you have chosen each other and a personal reminder of the vows you made earlier today. Remember the joy, commitment, intention, and the love in your heart and remember what you chose and choose to choose each other all over again. So Camilo, please place the ring on the third hand of your beloved's third finger of your beloved's left hand. <laughs> And Mariah, do the same. And please look at each other and repeat after me. With this ring, I promise to love you joyously. With this ring, I promise to love you joyously. So you have now made your vows with your loved ones as witnesses and exchanged rings. And I ask that each of you who have supported Mariah and Camilo in their journeys thus far, to pledge to support them as they move forward in the world together now. Support them to continue to get back to that other shore. So everyone, join me in the pronouncement and you will repeat after me. We, your family and friends, now pronounce you married. We, your family and friends, now pronounce you married. Congratulations. <laughs> I introduce the married couple. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>